Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Never mind. Is penning trash as we speak. Your rep Your clever mind is penning trash as we speak. Your... mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Never mind, is penning tragedy as we... And kill you will. We all kill what we love most in time. You 
like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <laughs> You are wrong to consider another your equal. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lady. Your companion rests blissfully without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. <sighs> well, hello. Looking for a cuddle? Although, you don't look entirely yourself. What's going on that head of yours? All right. Talk quickly, then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. <laughs> I'd rather be the only dark power inside your body, if it's all the same to you. You're welcome to try and kill me, of course, but I don't die easily these days. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. Whatever it is that's controlling you, we can fight it. I know that better than anyone. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. You'd do the same to me. Now just relax. Dawn isn't far off. The night passes sick and sweating. Bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. I felt for the bard, seeing you like that. Poor Alfera never stood a chance, did you? Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like.
I don't hate you, because this is not you. But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. Word would be nice. Good morning. A thank you for not killing me the other night. Are you all right now, or is today a I will wed you with a delicate veil of blood blooming over your white curls kind of day? I'm also worried about me, but I seem to somehow be worried about you more. You give me something to care for, and that's worth the peril. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? I hadn't really decided on the specifics. Obviously, we could stop the ritual, or... Not. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. A pity, then, that it's not your decision to make. <laughs> of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. You are worried about this killing urge. I can see it. I will try to help you resist, but spill a single drop of my blood, and yours will flow in a gusher. About what happened. About your affliction. I know you're sorry. And I know you're probably afraid it'll happen again. I'll look after myself. You look after you. If we each do our part, we'll both be all right. I see the hunger in your eyes. And I see how it worries you. It worries me too. But you are stronger than the hunger. You can resist. You will resist. I'm sure of it. I know you have your personal demons to contend with. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in. And seek help if you need it. You wanted something? Moving ahead. Glad to see we all made it through the night intact. A promising sign that we may be able to curb those urges of yours. Now, as the saying goes, what's left undone should be left unspoken. Is there some lighter subject you wish to discuss? Uh, quite the cozy setup you have here. I swear, I can already feel. from her.
Araj Oblodra, trader in blood and the sanguineous arts. It is a pleasure to stand before a true soul and your pale companion. I'd like to offer my services, if you're willing. I trade in blood and the potions that can be wrung from it. I'm more than happy to make you one. If you'd honor me with your blood. With one drop, I can brew a rather potent potion for you. The rest, I keep for myself. No idea, but it will be unique to you. Your blood essence and the Absolute's blessing intertwined. We can learn exactly what that means together, hmm? I'm here, should you change your mind. Although perhaps there's one more thing we could discuss. Your friend. He's a vampire, no? Or one of their spawn, at least. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. I assume he belongs to you? I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? A <laughs> Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, a Starian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? How very disappointing. So this is the abode of our dear Absolute. It's about as cheerful as expected. Feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye. Intent clear. Murder. Glorious murder. The cat ignores you, but her eyes stray to a small tunnel hidden in the wall. The message is clear. Stay if you wish, but she will flee at a moment's notice. Mind making her meat. Of many thoughts, one mind.
We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Lies! I served the Absolute! I did everything I was told! And there you have it. We are too close to the ending, and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius. I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the General. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> Please, you gotta help me, for old time's sake. <laughs> oh, praise the absolute, and praise her true soul. <laughs> 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 
Your merciful streak will be the death of us one day. Let's hope Zarel won't be too angry. In another lifetime, you were greeted in this throne room like a god. Not the living wreck you are now. Your disgrace has something to do with this Catherick. You yearn to flay him until he forgets himself, as you have. With difficulty, you banish the pooling evil that bewitches your quivering limbs. Perhaps parts of you were scattered in this spire. Time to knit yourself together. The seat of the absolute power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. Discussion. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> now, how can I help you? Soft and sweet as pudding, isn't he? He no longer remembers his life in the wild. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. Praise her word. Barnabas, sweetie. Come show what a good boy you are. What would you like him to do? The prayer, I think. Barnabas struggles with civilized speech, but he's been practicing. You feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. <laughs>
There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. All trace of restraint is gone. Barnabas has tasted blood and wants more. To your surprise, instead of ravishing you, he grovels with a howl of pining awe. <laughs> in her design, even those we once called monsters. Anything of use? General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Realm? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself! Pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith.
My, my. Your lust for the neck pricker is succulent. I'd like to take a bite out of him myself. With the Absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. until your vision blurs with pain. The Absolute's blessings have far greater value than any price you could name. Be wise. Obey. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Good luck, true soul. The disciple demands much of those who... An honor, true You'll find traitors in the entrance hall. So, the army, they're nearly ready. It's nearly time. Us, we are so... I've never been to battle, I've never been to war, but I feel so calm. Absolutists from getting their hands on a load of druids in some grove. Whoever it was, better pray the general doesn't smoke them out. Of many hearts. Sister. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. 
She said you'd find me, and here you are. Karlak, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but if... Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins. Said I could sell them if I wanted. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Cambian. But you're right. Then again, they could really come in handy. All right. Suit, suit yourself. I've got all sorts on offer, if you're worthy of them.
better hope you can have Sister. Moonrise Towers. I never... I'm bound for the war camp. The disciple has returned. Each pack of recruit can't trust them to sweep the stables, let alone swing a sword. No doubt. Isn't for me to question them above me. I'm sure you know your business. I'll see they get all the help they need, true soul. And they'll need quite a bit. We are... I've got the novices in... Did you request this post too? Don't get chatty with the prisoner. Prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Those Spitfires? Well, they certainly gave the guards a run for their money. And they'd be a help in the escape. I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrin. We've got a plan. For us and the Tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do even if it's not Iron Hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdo, make sure a guard doesn't see you, or we're both done for. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those two? Ketherick may think you pose no threat to him in your de- Keep your bloody thoughts to yourself and your head down. You set foot in our tower once. You did not leave. 
At least not through any door I have watch over. I assumed you overstayed your welcome. Little did I expect you to intrude again. Your name, your place, was kept from all of us last time, but you were to be shown the utmost of respect. Respect you must have proven yourself unworthy of. And now you waste my time. Regardless, know this. I am the Warden. The prisoners are my charges, and I answer to Disciple Balthazar himself. Stay on my good side. Your mind swirls with information about the prison. The small levers behind the warden's desk open every cell, while the larger one triggers the alarm. And interesting items confiscated from prisoners lie above the warden's office, just up the ladder. If you are going to stare, kindly do it elsewhere. As I said, you are free to roam where you wish, but do not speak to the prisoners. Anyone who refutes the Absolute is an enemy of mine, true soul. You would do well to remember that. Indeed. But all are kept out of reach and under constant surveillance in the office above. Prison security is my highest. A pity you're already failing then. Covered.
my breath. watching me. Let's see. Seems like a good moment to talk. You remind me a little of the Warden. Such... gravitas. Glad, Nichols. There's something evil here. But Your feet fly fast, my friend. Blessed Gerdol, I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you. The plan is to wait for a quiet moment, then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. You remind me a little. the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. They believe you.
You remind me. A step forward.
moving.
Magnificent. Hup, hup. Can you feel death's cold grip? Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. Time, skill, or luck brings you to Last Light's dock. Hold there! You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures, damn it! No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you've said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well... We'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. That's it. This won't take long.
Keep your distance. Something to ask. This is ridiculous. As if I'd let some parasite infect. Time to get going. This is ridiculous. These flaming fists don't take themselves half seriously, do they? And you're clear. Welcome to Last Light. Ketherick's lackeys found me already. Blast it all! You need to deal with him. You think I wasn't? We weren't exactly on holiday, Roland. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics! I thought you were dead, you ass! Both of you! We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I was just overwhelmed. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. And the two idiots. Humble too? Imagine that. She has no cause to be humble. She brought us back together. A task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. Every moment Ketherick lives is another...
turn someone inside out. Bamboozle them. Ignis! Seems simple enough. Oh, time to get I'm going. So tired. How do people do this all day? Ahead. here. No traps, please. That's curious. Curse to put my hands on everything.
Nice. What now? This feels good. Let's go. Come on. Can't stay idle. Good here, I hope. is this place? And away I go. Look, there's something on the other side. No way through from here, though. An illithid oubliette. Right beneath the towers. A colony must be close. That must be where the tadpoles are coming from. You've made a grave mistake. <laughs>
way. What's inside? Be on my way. That's a friendly looking shadow. How much further can I go? Think of that place might never wash out.
Seems like the best way. <clears throat> with a flick of the wrist. Enjoy the view. This feels like it's stretch all the way to the sea. I'm afraid you missed, but there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Not long before we march on the city, Baldur's Gate. The army marches over land, but we sent some friends ahead too. Nothing of note. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. As the symbol glows, power courses through. I need a moment for the two of us. It's always a pleasure to see you soon. Let's see what this does.
I, uh, I want to thank you. For what you said. Whilst I was in front of that vile drow. I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. And I'm grateful. It's a novel concept, I admit. And, uh... A little intimidating. It would have been so easy to bite her. To just go along with what I was being told to do. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. The entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped thinking like I was his slave. Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. Really? Full of surprises, aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> All what comes next. But I know that this... This is nice. To the public, Cazador is an ordinary noble, a little reclusive perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if he performed the ritual there, it feels too public. It risks exposure. I know. Subtle, isn't it? I hope so. Because I am not striking another deal with Raphael. Who knows what he demand this time? But if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything... My... brothers and sisters... dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Stand clear of the car. Uh, respectfully. True so. Just doing my job. They say the absolute se And I don't plan on being a guard for long, true so. Thank you. Beg pardon, true so.
Stand clear of the... Uh, respectful. They're not to be opened and... And I don't plan on being a guard for long, true soul. Something's on my mind. Not long before we march on the city. Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Let's keep your hands. Not long before we march on the city, nothing of no The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach. Until you rest. Uh, right, you are. Not everyone subs. Open up. Familiarity radiates from one barrel amidst the cargo. Tadpoles, sleeping and scarcely aware, but echoing yours a hundredfold. Look at all those tads! Enough to make an army of absolutists. to stop the cult from using these things. Now's our chance to change them or fry them. The vat is still. Placid, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. It seems their pursuit of profit extends even here. Before we march on the city, Baldur's Gate. The army marches over land. But we sent some friends ahead. Locals, or they don't, and we send them to meet the old gods they cling to. Busy or they'll set you lifting. Cursed to put my hands on everything. Could have. What path lies before me?
plant one foot in front of the other. Head forward, back straight. Make them fear you. A new face. Do as the warden says, when... a living being extending through the walls. Pig! In walls above! Maybe whole tower! Lodis near kitchen! But Mig Band! Not allowed to pet nose! You find meat, you share! focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. A spark glows within the heart of the construct. Someone or something watches you from beyond. from the rafters above. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above.
something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. you felt on the Nautiloid. Your awareness unfolds, expanding through every wall in the tower, every mind. A vast living network extending down into the dark, where something wakes. Uh, what is that? It's a trap. Tendrils snap like iron cords around your wrist. That presence in your mind looms large, closer now. You stop resisting your arm bending with the movement of the flesh. And suddenly, an opening appears. With a soft, sucking sound, your hand pulls free. The flesh within the wall retreats. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I'd have to get involved. Now, let's keep our hands to ourselves, hmm? Step forward. 
Never wanted wide, the please. easy path. Here goes nothing. If you have coin, then show it. Get mo- Give it a shot.
Might be worth a look. side. Don't give me trouble now.
we go. Anything of use? The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. The symbols are striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they mean. The disc from Crash Yellick was distinctly similar to this one. If you can match the symbols, you might find a legible pattern. The disc from Crash Yellick was distinctly similar to this one. If you can match the symbols, you might find that in your mind's eye the symbols trade places with each other until a clear pattern forms. And from that pattern, a story emerges. It is another chapter in the tale of the Githyanki prince called Orpheus. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelima. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale, but beneath the roars we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. 
Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. The blade looks like the other. Another story about the Githyanki Prince. who was experimenting on the tadpoles. But they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Looks like it was used in the crafting of moon lanterns. that has seen many occupants, none of their own volition, and none in comfort. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Broken. And there's dust inside it. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Broken. And there's dust inside it.
broken. And there's dust inside it. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp. Need to find a way forward. is a face I shred in my dreams. One who kicked the steel claw as if I were some stray. I am a champion hunter. When I lick my pelt, I taste blood. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. You excavate the empty caverns of your useless mind, shoveling. Dozing, blasting through the smooth brain. How the kitty cat mewled when your boot stamped upon its tail. You are the black cat crossing the path of the living. The pleasure of the memory dribbles out of your leaking skull into the very air. A memory won at the cot.
Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. I will split and burst their every skin. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards! Lies, it merely pretends. But I am a patient hunter. I will wait for it to... Now I must return to my... That parasite was mine! Spend your days... Breathe deep and move. Here goes nothing. I'm way too big. I'm way too big. Wits and blades always sharp. Wish to live in more interesting times. But this one. This one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and your mocking tone is a mistake. You clearly yearn for death. I wish I am happy. Quiet! With haste. to put my hands on everything.
a servant of the grand design. Now I'm a slave to theirs. The tentacle pulses within the wall, waiting. There is no hesitation this time. The tendrils lash out like a waiting predator. The tendrils tighten, and suddenly you are elsewhere. The presence is no longer approaching you, but encircling you. Observing you. struggles to compress its vast being down into terms you can understand. This is the voice they have given me. To better speak to your kind without breaking you. I was once a servant of the grand design. Now I'm a slave to theirs. But you... You were the jeweled hope for their design. But now... You are their flaw. puny chosen, used to bind this world. But I cannot bind you. You must come to me so I can become myself again. A world away, the grip on you tightens. A desperate, drowning thing that pulls you down with it. What's happening? Speak to me! Wake up! It nearly had you. Every bit as disgusting as the first time. I have to keep going.
These boots have seen everything. Look, there's something on the other side. No way through from here, though. No faces, only meat. Absolute fairly ripped your hand off. That's no way to tempt us into a meeting. Careful. It nearly had you. Whatever that creature was, its telepathic force was unlike anything I've ever encountered. It must be the source of the Absolute. Can't slow down. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. I don't know. But isn't it nice not to know? <sighs> You're not a victim. Not a target. Not just one night it's better to forget. But then, whatever in the world could you be? Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. How could I say no? Just a picture of... Hallucinogenic. 
energetic. Don't waste a step. <laughs> 